Hi, so uh, today we're gonna see a lesson on subtraction with the stamp game. Uh, here are friends of Sustainable Montessori presenting you as always lessons. So you can check our materials on the Teacher Pay Teacher store or you can enjoy the other videos that we have in our YouTube channel. So we have here subtraction, as I said, with the stamp game, and usually is one of the most complex operations, if not the one that students find it harder, just because it has a different layout of the other operations. So we have our, our number here, our mini end, and it's good to go introducing those terms to them. It's 243, so we have three units. Our units, our mini end. They always like the word the mini end because of the movie. Then we have uh, four tens, two, three, and four tens. And finally, two hundreds. So now the concept is actually that we are taking away. So if we have, an, an, in this case, 243, we're gonna take away uh, 187. So we're gonna start in our units, like all the operations, with the exception of division. And the thing is that, can we take seven units? No, we can't take seven units. So we're gonna ask our friend, we're gonna knock the door of our friend, and our friend the tens is, is gonna give us, it's like a good neighbor, it's gonna give us actually uh, one ten, and we know the one ten is actually 10 units. So we get one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're gonna put them here down. One, two, three, so we can count them again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now can we take away seven units? Yes, we can. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we can leave them here in a pile or maybe in a group here down. So now, can we take away eight tens from our, the three tens that we have? But actually, we can't. So we're going to ask our friend, in this case, the hundreds. We knock the door and we ask our friend. And it's going to give us 10 tens. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we're going to put here again and we count again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine and ten and we put it together and now can we take away eight tens yes we can so it would be one two three four five six seven eight and finally i have 100 can i take away 100 yes i can so now the students can check if we did the problem right. How can we check that? We're gonna count the, actually the number that we have here in the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths in 100. So we can check that is exactly the substra hand that we have here. So that's a way that the student can check if the problem is actually right. So now what is my answer? My answer would be what is left from my number. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. And then we have one, two, three, four, five tens. And we have zero hundreds. So, I mean, So if we have 243 and we take away 187, 
our answer would be 56. So as we said in previous videos, it is good that the students, uh, when you're using stamp game, they always use in uh, dynamic operations because the main purpose of the stamp game is actually to understand exchanges. So I hope you like this video and uh, keep checking our materials into our Teachers Pay Teacher store in Sustainable Montessori.